Welcome back everyone to some more Nomadic Survival. This is episode 18, and I am night hunting for some rabbit, but that is not going to go to plan now, because I can't see crap. Well, at least I found some berries, we'll be alright. But now I'm stuck out here, and I can't remember which way it came from. You get so lost here. Huh. I hear something. Oh, here we go. We're back. Huh. He hit my llama. Ah, beautiful day. Oh, I gotta check up on my llama. See, that's the thing. I can't remember if I need to keep healing these guys or if they slowly heal. Okay. First off, make sure no creepers. That would be devastating if I hopped on the back and... Oh, I couldn't even imagine. I'd just... I'd just die right there. <laughs> no creepers. And I did have berry bushes. It's just I didn't have a whole lot planted. Um, but I don't even think we're going to be staying here, to be honest with you. As cool as this is and as much as I love this biome, um, I'm not going to stay at these tree houses for probably even till today because I have some other ideas and the tree house idea ain't working out so well. All right, what's your health like? Was it Meeps? No. Who was it? Who got hit by the arrow? Don't be shy. I'm a doctor in another universe. Oh, it was you. It was only one heart. You'll be all right. So that said, yeah, I am moving out. <laughs> this is nomadic survival. We can do whatever we want when we want. So if I'm not feeling an area, I'm just going to leave. I want to enjoy this series. And I am enjoying this, but it's just not me reaching my expectations, you know? Um, we still got other priorities in this game. Um, and we need to build a base around those priorities so we can get our stuff we need. Um, I kind of extended over this way, but as cool as this is... It doesn't benefit me in any way being up in the trees. Like, I can't do anything up here right now. So, I'm going to pack up my things and we're going to head out and find a new spot to build. Now, you can kind of tell I wasn't feeling this area so much. I haven't even unpacked anything yet. All I had was an anvil up there. <laughs> so, I'm already ready to go. That's kind of crazy. Okay, let me just fill up these guys real quick. Spitfire, how you doing? What? Derpy little poop. I am all out of space, man. Who was the new guy? And where is he? Because I guess we're just up. Uh, yeah, I'm just all out of space. We're going to have to get another llama. No space? Oh, I forgot I had my inventory I've used. All right. Oh, crap. How much stuff do I got over here? Why, oh, I oh, don't want to forget this stuff. Oh, see, I almost forgot. Oh, gosh. What was that? Do that again. I dare you. Oh, hi, Piggy. How's your wound? He just went like, uh huh. <laughs> so I'm assuming that is. Get this off my screen. Okay. They're probably just patrolling. No need to go looking for. Oh, is that him? You gotta get out of here. But I was looking at my coordinates. I thought all of our old settlements were this way. We came from this way. Guess what? All of our barn and all that is over here. We've already passed all of our old stuff. Good night, horsey cloud. Oh, wow, it actually moved. Oh, you're over here now. That's cool. The clouds even follow a day-night cycle. All right, we're moving. We're doing this. I don't know where we're going. I'm just going to do that thing again where, if I see something cool, I'm going to build there. I have so many ideas, though, so that's why I'm excited just to get moving again. I like building. Come on, guys. I know you've been tied up for a while. You get the stretch on. Oh, Lord, here we go again. <laughs> This was always the most troubling part. Usually lead chief. And then I get on assassin. Alright. Oh boy. I mean, I like doing this, but it's just sometimes, as you know, <laughs> in our past experiences, these llamas tend to stray away. Goodbye, treehouse. We'll meet again one day. I just noticed that stray dogs run from llamas now. I don't remember that happening last time, but that's good because llamas will spit at them, and then I think the dogs will attack the llamas, and I don't want that to happen. So, ooh, starting to like this area. I think we already settled in a plains, though, but I wouldn't mind doing it again because we built a barn last time. I wouldn't mind making a farmhouse. Ah, uh, huh, huh. I'm just gonna panic sleep. Ah, huh. 
Sleep. It's night. Sleep. I go to bed early. Good night, kitty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're all chicken. No, get off the bed. No. Can't believe I have to lead a freaking cat. No, come on. I'm trying to run away from the mobs, but they're coming off their leads. Get away. Go. Oh my God, so many mobs. All the llamas better be behind me. I don't care. I just want to go. And there's a wall. Son of a crap. All right, how many? Six llamas, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. No. Oh, come on. Where's the llamas? Get up here. Come on. The stupid zombies in the way. Oh, we got a new member of the tribe. That's all right. Is it time for a ravine base, maybe? Nah, not really. I'm just gonna make a bridge. It's not that deep. The what? Where? There's a bridge right here. What are you doing? No! No! Oh my god! No! Why are these llamas so stupid? Oh my god! They're all just killing themselves. Now what the heck, guys? <laughs> oh my gosh. I noticed that about Minecraft. Like, yes, their pathing is good, but if you build a path, they still won't register it for a while. Like, they'll just still d rely on nature. Um, how the heck am I going to get you guys out? Especially you two fools. Is that spit... Of course it's Spitfire down there. God, calm down. Let me build the path first. Oh, my God. Guys, stop. Oh, I'm so excited to get out. Jesus. Fine, go. Oh, good, just, no, no, Spitfire! Uh, oh my god, no! Oh my god, stop, calm down, stop, just stop. Holy crap. Across the bridge, where do you, where is your, oh my lord. Go, go. Oh, oh my god. So somehow, I managed to go from seven leads to four leads, or five. I have no idea. Hopefully I have some more slime. All right, let's continue moving out, you fools. Don't step on the kitty. Guys, why don't you tell me how lost I am? <laughs> I found a swamp, and I'm like, okay, m maybe I am near my swamp house again. I just got turned around, and I saw those logs cut, and I'm like, yeah, I've definitely been here. Now look over our barn. Holy crap, I am turned around. That's what I like. I like leaving some stumps in the water so you know I've been here and cut down some trees. Oh, the magnificent barn. See, now I don't have enough leads to bring them across the water. Oh, dang it. All right, who who carries... Oh, you carry the slime. All right, now who has the string? String. 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 No, who are you? Oh, yeah, I haven't named you yet. String. I know you have string. Nope, you never have anything, Spitfire. Meeps, you... What? I don't have any string. How do I not have string? I always make sure, oh, I think I put it in the chest and didn't take it because it's not really a necessity, but it is right now. I just want to check if this place has some string. I'll definitely take it. It's been a while since we've been here. I really liked this place, but this is a uh, area where we bred our donkey and got mules and they're all still here too. Hey guys, <laughs> the failed experiments. Um, What did I leave? Don't tell me I didn't leave. Oh, see? Well, I grabbed this string from here, too. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, and our... Oh, I've been forgetting to place my banner on places. Did I? I don't think I made any more. Huh. Okay. Well, um, I know which direction to go now. <laughs> ah. Brings back memories. Even though it wasn't that long. Well, actually, it was. It was quite a while ago. Even though we're on the 18th or episode. <laughs> Hit a llama. Please, or hit me. All right, so I've traveled about, I don't know, 500 blocks away from the barn in the opposite direction from where we left, and I'm already spotting a mega taiga. <laughs> so that means we had one very close from the beginning and I never realized it. Oh well, I'm not staying here. What if I'm just so turned around that my tree house is over here? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I think it is. I am turned around. Oh God, my brain hurts. Because I remember I passed the barn, but now I'm going back. Wait, why am I going back? 
Gosh, I hate the sound of that cat walking. It sounds just like creepers. I feel like I'm going to blow it up. Good night, everyone. Oh, no, kitty. Don't. Thanks for the rotten flesh. I'll give this to Bear. 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 Well, there you are. Here, Bear. Take it. Crap, which way was I going? <laughs> no. No. Where's the sunrise? Over there, right? Okay, I think I was going this way. I think. Oh, my God, guys. I keep getting turned around. Why don't I have a compass? I do have a compass. Ah. <sighs> We are definitely gonna come back to this biome though and build a log cabin. I think that's what I want to do here, but I'm not gonna do that now because we just got done with this area kind of. I wouldn't mind even building one now. You know what? If I can't find a biome outside of this, we're probably gonna come back and just build a log cabin and fulfill our needs in the Mega Taiga. You know what? Screw it. We're doing it. I have no idea where the treehouse is or where I'm at. I just like this area right here. Clear out all these trees, have a nice river in front, a nice little cave in back, even though. It's a dead end. That'll be our mine. I'm doing it right here. I, I just love Mega Tigers and Log Cabin, so we're doing it. Oh my gosh, yes. Look how beautiful this is right here. There's like a round... Oh, is that a little island? Okay, it isn't. I might turn that into like a little island right there. This is just beautiful in my eyes. Oh, I love it. Fish for salmon over here. Have a nice log cabin. Oh. <laughs> Let's get to work. Okay, so I'm going to go for a very basic shape, but it's going to be elevated in some areas, so I think it'll look nice. The only way to test it is to try it, so <laughs> I'm imagining something um, like that side's going to be a little taller than this side, and then we're going to have get rid of this tree, have a canopy of some sort covering some logs. Actually, yeah, I kind of want this to look like a sawmill, so we'll have a sawmill for cutting wood. Oh, I forgot I'm going to have the same food source. All right, we are going to have to make a rabbit farm. I'll get some rabbits. That is going to be a giant waste of wood, isn't it? No, it isn't. I'm actually not going to go with horizontal logs. I'm going to go all vertical. Um, the ones that are pointing out right here are going to stay that color. These ones right here, I'm going to strip all of these. So they're going to have different colors, which I think will look pretty good. Um, yeah. So far. Again, it's going to be a lot of the monotone kind of same colors as this biome because I kind of like that because it's the only wood I have to work with around here. Alright, where am I at? Uh oh. Wait, oh, here I am. Okay. Oh, I forgot I might. Keep forgetting about this stuff. Okay, so we're building there. Can I spot the tree? I know. I remember this biome being pretty darn big, so it'd be <laughs> pretty amazing if I built that close. To the treehouse, even though I am lost. Man, maybe I should have built it up there. Imagine the treehouse up in those trees. That'd be cool. Man, the Mega Taiga is such a good biome. Oh, I mean, just look at that. I am obsessed with pine trees in real life and just big forests like this. It just brings me happiness when I see them. Which is why I hope one day, whenever I get my own house, like house house, not apartment, <laughs> um, that I can live in like a forest like this. I just be amazing oh my god this requires so many logs all right that's about four giant trees and a bunch of little trees cut down turned into this so far and then it's not even close to done yet but you can kind of see the shape I'm going for now this is kind of the shorter area gonna have a small roof on here and this is kind of the tall peaked area that's gonna be double story what did I do there oh I need to put a log there okay yeah, I like it so far. Um, I saw a cave over here and a zombie come out. Kind of want to... Ooh, spooky. Hello? Ooh, I forgot about this. Hello? <laughs> I just love that feature so much. In Optifine. They need to add it to normal Minecraft. Huh. Ooh, spooky. Grab some resources here. Well, should we go ahead and do that? Huh. Oh. Do two torches. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Wait, where's my fishing pole? It has to be on one of these guys, right? I would never leave that. Yeah. Baitmaster. <laughs> uh, I want to catch a few things. Or perhaps I should sleep. One fish. Hurry up. Just one. Just one. There we go. A cod. Guaranteed. Or a bottle of water. <laughs> what else can we get? Because I'm starving. 
And I think that's just gonna be my food source here is fish because, well, I can fish. <laughs> nope, what the, give me. Enchanted book, or cod. Today's common question of the day comes from Gavin the Beast. Do you think you will ever get one million subscribers? That would be the day, wouldn't it? But I also thought that I would never reach 100,000 subscribers. And that was when I only had, I remember I was stuck at like, I think it was four to 6,000 subscribers for the longest time. Like I could not budge above it. I would gain like one subscriber every day or a couple. That was rough. That was rough and that's when I knew I'd never reach 100,000 because I was like counting up how many more thousands I would have to have to get that. But it all matters about how your videos get out there. I think what mostly matters is how many videos I produce and also how consistent I stay with it because at many points in my YouTube career, I was very consistent and that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to get this everyday upload regimen going, but I've been having things come up and it's kind of annoying when you, I really want to get this going, but I do think if I could upload every day, I mean, maybe miss one day here and there, uh, I think I could, like, not this year, but I think I could reach 1 million subscribers in maybe two or three years if I uploaded every day. But that's just me guessing. I don't know. There could be a subscriber surge at some point. Um, such as during these times with this pandemic, I got like 30,000 in one month. So that was pretty cool. But I just got to keep pumping out these videos. Keep attracting new people. Um, I hope I do one day. I'd love to get that plaque. It's just, I, I look at my 100,000 plaque every day and it motivates me. I could only imagine if I have two of them. Or I'd even like to reach another 100,000 on my other channel. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I think this, oh man, yeah, this is gonna, get in. Get in the boat, Square. Get in the boat. Can I not get in the boat? Come on, get in the boat. I don't think they can get in the boat. <laughs> uh, this cabin's, go it would even look nice over here. We can build something over here. Oh, that's gonna look so nice. Yes, I love this. Uh, what do you think we should do here, by the way? I think we've already had a mining phase. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting some more resources from mining, but I think, I don't know if I should focus on enchanting here. We should focus on something in particular. Maybe, no, I don't want to go to the nether yet. Maybe upgrading our gear. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.